Hey everyone, it's Ongler. Welcome to the video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Frostbite. We'll be seeing exactly what this sniper rifle does and if it's actually worth leveling up. So let's see what this weapon does. This is how I have it rolled. It can only be rolled water and I'm not very happy with the five headshot. If you get lucky, you might be able to get the one that has a 44% more damage against fire element, but it is definitely not worth wasting a reperk on. Also, this is listed as a semi-automatic, so you can shoot a couple rounds consecutively, and honestly, that's still nothing to write home about. This is the loadout that I'm using with the video. As you can see, I have Rabbit Raider Jonesy along with Blaff from the past, and everything else is to simply try to give the rifle more damage. And also, I do like a bit of healing, so I use Survivalist. All right, right off the bat, I would give this weapon a C rating, and we're going to talk about why. This sniper rifle is extremely situational, in my opinion, because it can only be rolled water. Now, if you find yourself going in a mission that has fire enemies in it, like this one, then you should be okay. This sniper rifle takes out normal husk, the little husk, and it has a little bit of difficulties if the husky husks are not fire element. Honestly, this damage is all right. I don't see anything special about it. And as I spoke about briefly before, the five shots in a row perk, I've never been a fan of it. And especially with this weapon, because if you have a lot of husks rushing at you, you're not going to really have a lot of time to aim down your sights and try to get those headshots. That's why I think the 44% against uh, the fire would be a lot better. But still, honestly, that's not saying much. And honestly, when I think of sniper rifles, there's a, a lot that come to mind right off the bat, such as the old Betsy, the Obliterator, the Neon Sniper Rifle, the Spyglass, are all really great sniper rifles. And unfortunately, this one really doesn't compare to them. I can see, if I'm in a fire mission, giving this Frostbite to my Defender and letting them go off, I think it'd be, you know, beneficial, but... I was thinking about this for a moment. What if I was a newer player that didn't really have access to a lot of weapons? I would definitely say, hey, you know, if you're still new and getting weapons, use this one if you're in a fire mission. I can see you, you know, clearing stuff pretty easily. But if the element isn't fire, then you're going to have a difficult time. And I would still probably recommend giving it to your defender. And that's why I gave it the C rating. It's very situational. You have to have a certain loadout to make it work. And it's just kind of unfortunate because I do like the semi-automatic feature. And, you know, things are going down, you know, they're going down at a decent rate. But I have to have this loadout that I'm using or they won't go down. I also was thinking of putting Zenith in as well. But, you know, I just want to see how much damage I could throw out there. But I think Zenith would probably be a nice compliment. Now I think about it, you can easily switch out like Lock and Reloader for him. And possibly squeeze out a few more extra points of damage. So that is my take on the gun. And yeah, this there's really not much more to say about this weapon. Besides, I think it looks super cool. When I saw the preview about two years ago when it first came out, I thought, whoa, this sniper rifle looks really cool. But unfortunately, it doesn't really perform well in all missions. And even with the guidance of the invisible burning bush, this weapon still falls short, unfortunately. Alright guys, I really want to thank you for watching the video and hope you enjoyed it. If this is your first time visiting the channel and would like to see more Save the World content, please hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. It would mean a lot to me. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video and until then, take care.